Good morning. I hope you guys got my community post. I have never done a selfie stick video, so this is going to be kind of weird. But I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try to... I'm going to see if I can get a video that's like three minutes long uploaded every day. So I'm just trying out. This will be my first one. And my videos, uh, I started um, putting them as, like, number one, this will be number two, so on and so forth. So, it's a very gorgeous day today. I'm deep cleaning my camper. I've got my door open, getting everything all aired out and everything. So, it's absolutely beautiful. It's so beautiful. Sun feels so good. I'm having a good day today. I'm feeling encouraged and uplifted. I slept so good last night. Unbelievable. My trip to Mountain View yesterday went wonderful. I got all my laundry done, my blankets washed, and I even got a $5 box from Taco Bell. So it was pretty cool. But I am just working on stuff here on my little, my little land. So I am... I'll be showing you stuff, almost tripped. I'll be showing you stuff that I do. But it's just, it's just going to be different. Because it's just going to be different. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I guess we'll see. I'm going to paint some more on that sign right there. I got it painted turquoise. And I'm going to put some gold on it. So I'm making a new, I'm making a new homestead sign. I actually prefer the, the farm to the homestead, but this is a homestead. This is a homestead, so I just don't have any animals and that's all right. But I am working on stuff. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take down my all this pellets because there's a pellet fence. I'm not sure what I wanna do yet. So I'm trying to let my creativity out and see what happens. But I just wanna tell you I love you. I hope this video does upload because then that means, guess what, that means I can put videos out. It'll just be shorter. So, love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for your good thoughts towards me. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for being my YouTube buddy. And guess what? Everything's going to be alright some way, somehow. Take it easy. Take it easy. Love you. Good, wonderful Sunday morning to you, Kathy. It's my third cup this morning. My third cup of coffee. Can you hear me? Did you see my community post yesterday? Well, I tried to upload a, I think it was two minutes and 60 or 70 second video. No, it was like going on three hours for 12 megabytes of 130 megabyte video, so that's not going to work. But I tried, so I am getting ready to go to church with my wonderful neighbor. Oh, the video before this one is the one that I tried to upload yesterday, so that is from yesterday, which was Saturday. <clears throat> this is Sunday morning. This is right now. This is today. So I'll probably just make the video public tonight. I know it's it's about a four hour process to go to church with my neighbor. So he goes at nine. And they're one of those churches that just does what they want. So they don't have a strict time schedule or anything. So I just wanted to say hello, see your face, say good morning to you. It's very sunny already, which is making me happy because I've got some stuff that I want to do today. <coughs> Sorry.
I really feel like just giving up on the videos, but that's just because I want it to be a certain way. I want to just have the freedom to make a video every day, every other day, like I used to when I want to. So, I really just feel like just dark wintering my YouTube account videos, but I can't. I can't do it. I gotta keep on. Just do what I can until I can do more. I had a... I had quite a day yesterday. So, I had a very hard day. I mean, it was a good day. I got so much done. So much done. My camper's spotless. Everything. I got a lot done, but... I just, <clears throat> yeah, but I just wanted to do a little check-in and say hello to you. I want to ask you guys something. Are you a, are you a wisdom seeker? Every day do you inwardly cry out for wisdom? I'm not talking about knowledge, but just, are you just always open for truth? Are you that kind of a person? I am. I was actually sitting here. Just crying to God. Yesterday I had all my stuff done and I was just struggling with something in particular. And the neighbor messaged me and he said, we got a fire going, you want to come up? He's got a couple of his buddies from, uh, shoot, Arizona, I think, or something. I don't know where they're from, but they're, they're older gentlemen and, oh, geez, Rick is... I don't know, he said he was born in 57, I think. And then his buddy, I don't remember. I think he's born in 60-something. So they're older guys. But anyways, I wasn't going to. I was going to tell him, no, I've been sick today. I don't feel good. And I thought, no, I think this is just what I need to do. So I went up there, and we call him the hillbilly. Tom, he's... He's like 60-something, too. He, he's been here for like 31 years on this land before they sold it to this company. He hunts this land, everything, with his dogs. Well, they were all up there, so there's four of them up there. And I just sat by the fire, listened to them talk, listened to their stories. And I just, it taught me a lot. It taught me a lot. And you know what? They were drinking and stuff, which I don't care or do whatever anybody does. Well... My neighbor, who I told you, doesn't drink anymore, right? He gave his... Gave his heart to Jesus. And just quit drinking. Like, lifelong drinker. Heavy, heavy, heavy drinker. And I I just thought for sure he was going to drink. Not a drop. He sat there with his water. He told me a couple times, he's like, I'm being tempted. I'm being tempted. And I just sat there and I just kept thinking to myself, you are so courageous. You are so brave. No one ever does what they say they're going to do. People don't really care. And I just kept, I just, it, it struck me. It struck me so much. I mean, I had a beer. Of course, I don't struggle with alcoholism. So I just, I don't, I mean, I haven't had a beer since Wes left. So I, I just, I had a beer and some of Tom's moonshine that he makes and I just kept, man, I just kept just learning stuff sitting there. You know, I just kept learning stuff. And I just, goodness sakes, it was quite a day yesterday. So, but I asked the neighbor if I could ride along the church this morning, last night. And so, yeah, that's where I'm going. So, it's early in the morning right now. It's about, oh, geez, probably about 8 or so, maybe before 8. I don't know. We're going to leave about 9, so. I mean, I, I just, I guess at my age, 
I'm 41. I'll be 42 October. I just don't have any more patience for any bullshit anymore. Like, I just, I want, I want to look at you and see that you're living a life of truth. I want to see the fruits of your good character. I want to, I just don't have, I don't have any time to waste. I don't have any time to waste. And I don't want anyone near me that is not going to better me. Someone that I can learn from and trust in. I don't care about people's personalities anymore. Take your personality and throw it in the damn garbage. I don't care anymore. I just spent a year and four months with someone that I, I, I struggle a lot to get over. Guess what? His personality. And, and that personality was actually not the personality that he had at home. At all. So I, I'm doing a lot of learning right now on personalities. And things like... I'm, I'm learning stuff about this. I mean, character... Personality is different. It, it's... The, the words you use... Your facial expressions, your body language, your tone of voice. We all have a personality, right? And it should be individual. That's, I mean, really, we should all have our own personality. But I also believe personality can be a stronghold for the enemy. I believe it can be a trap. It can be a prison. It can be terrible horrible thing as well so for some personalities can be you know alter egos there's so much that i'd like to talk about well it's just like my neighbor um he's a heavy heavy drinker and seeing his change right seeing his change is like night and day now i get to see who he is when I met him, I met his personality. And he is a beautiful, beautiful human being. He's a beautiful man. I think he's 57, 58, I don't know. Him and his wife are... They're very good people. But I, I just... She's a long-haul truck driver. He absolutely adores her. Every time I... See him, he's talking to her on speakerphone just all day. He ju they just love each other. I got married last year, and I guess I didn't have a ceremony or whatever, and the church is going to, they're gonna, this, this year they're going to have an actual wedding ceremony thing at the church. So I'm very thankful that I was put here. Sorry about this camera angle thing. I was trying to escape the sunlight this morning, so... I'm just sick of the traps, sick of the bullshit. I really would rather be here alone than to have anyone near me that is not loving and living for the right things, for the right, for the right, for the good. I don't want it. This is his life. This can be a very terrifying thing. I mean, terrifying. Last night, my son, my King David, he'll be 23 in July, he sent me a picture of his his pickup smashed to pieces in the back. There was a nice, sporty black car just smashed into it, the back left corner. And he's like, I'm okay. I was inside. I was like, oh my god. So I freaked out, messenger back. He said he's sorry, he worded it wrong. He was inside his home. And that's the home he bought last year. But homeowner. Homeowner. At 22 years old. You talk about a hardworking kid. You talk about... So thankful. Well, in the picture that he took of it, there was cops there. He told me... He felt so bad. It was this 
this younger kid, and he was drunk, and he, he, David said that the kid tried to get him to go under the table with it or whatever, and he said, he, he said like six people called the cops, there was no way out of it, and he said he just felt so bad for the guy, and he said he pulled him out, he helped him get out, he was trashed, and it just really, really got me. The picture that David took and sent me, there was a cop cars everywhere, you know, whatever. And David's truck was getting ready to get pulled up onto the tow truck. Well, there was like a, an, a like a rainbow of light, like a literally looked like a giant dome of protection, and it went right over the surrounded the cab of David's pickup. And I just um, talked to Father every day. He's your father. He's he's not a failure because my my son's biological dad has never been in his life and he just never he just never had a dad so i say he's not a failure he's the best father there ever was or ever will be and you can tell him anything talk to him talk to him every day pray always pray always which i'm always telling my sons that i haven't talked to elijah in, since last february so that's my 18 year old As a mother, you know certain things about your children, certain, you get a feeling this one's called to this and this one's called to that, and I mean, everybody's smart, but my sons are unbelievably intellectually, comprehensionally, spiritually the life they've lived at their age, the mother that they have. Yeah, they're anointed all right. They're not. I see the kids. I see the kids these days. My sons are nothing like that. They're already, they're already high-level ranking soldiers in the kingdom of God already. I can tell you that right now. The high intelligence runs in my family, but Double-edged sword there. They've, they know. They know matters of the mind. All I can do is sit here, out here on my land in the wilderness, drop before the throne of God and call on him to protect my sons, protect my family, protect those I love. The main thing that I pray for for anyone is protection. Protection. Help protection we always cut we all come up against these problems in life all the time there's always something we need help we need help we need protection always 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 I'm telling you I don't know when my last will breath will be I don't have any more time to waste I'm not wasting my time. I'm not wasting any of my days. I'm not wasting my life. I don't care what other people think because of this, because of that, because of the things that are out here, obviously on my YouTube channel. I don't care. You do not know. You do not know. I am not wasting my life. So, you can have the best job ever, the nicest vehicle ever. Your husband can give you every single thing your heart desires when you even look at it, ever so on and so forth, but you could be just rotten inside. Rotten inside. Alright, I don't care what the world says I should have or should be doing. I care what my father says. So, this is a time in my life when I am calling out for wisdom. Calling out for wisdom. Calling. Crying out for it. I have got to change certain patterns in my life when it comes to men. If I ever will ever even be with another man. I mean, for God's sakes, I waited four years before I met Wesley. Four years. Everyone that I know was on that messenger talking and flirting and meeting and screwing. And they got to have that attention. These women guys got to have, have that attention. I don't care about attention. I don't need that garbage. I care about love. I care about being loved right and loving right. The foundations that make things last and stand the test of time. That's what I care about. 
That is what I care about. Healthy. Being healthy. Having healthy relationships. So. But I am getting ready to go to church. I better cut this down real quick here. But thanks for talking to me this morning. I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit. So. I'll keep putting my videos out when I can. Alright. Um, I'm reading Psalms right now. Let's see that. Highlighter. I don't know if you can see it or not. Pour your heart out before him in spirit and in truth. Father seeks those to worship him in spirit and in truth. You can come to him. Talk of your deepest, darkest, most evilest sins and the things that you have done, the things that you are doing. And he understands and there's help. There is help. The worst kind of person on this earth is the one that doesn't want to change, refuses to change, doesn't care. To step and look at themselves and examine themselves up against what is right in this life. To me, that is the worst. Somebody who tries and tries and tries to change and trips and falls and trips and falls and messes up. But they try. They are very, very hardest. Those people to me are beautiful. I don't care if you're trying. Some people don't care to try. They don't care. They do not care. No. I don't have any time to waste. I'm not wasting my time on this earth. I want to please my God. That's it. Gotta go. Have a great, wonderful Sunday. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching my videos. Take it easy. Love you. Love you.